Guys, so I haven't made a video like this in a while, so I decided since I have the parts, why not? Um, so I had a harness bar and harnesses uh, made for my car. Well, not made. Harness bar was made. Harnesses bought uh, for my car. Um, so I'll do a video as much as I can of installing the damn thing because I have absolutely no idea. I'll watch some videos on YouTube while I'm not recording. Um, but I got myself some SA belt harnesses and a, a custom harness bar uh, for my 86. So. I have no idea how this is going to go, so I'm going to see how complicated it is to install. Apparently it just bolts on, so we'll see. Uh, so enjoy, I hope it helps. Alright, so essentially I need to remove this panel here, which I just popped off now. Let's see how that goes. Uh, there's a bolt here to remove the seat, so you can move the panel here on the side, so you can get the entire module for the seat belt off. And there's a bolt here at the bottom that you have to take out. So you just move the seat forward and pretty much disconnect it. So. I'm gonna try and do that now and see what happens. All right, cool, so the first bolt here, which is connected to the bottom of this guy, it's a 14 millimeter socket. Um, literally, once you have it loose, you can unscrew it with your hand, so it's very, very easy. Next would be probably this one here, which is 10 mil, just to lift the seat so you can actually move the uh, plastic, quarter, uh, plastic panels at the inside. Okay, well, I'm pretty terrible to record. Um, okay, so firstly, the seat, sorry, I've got no lighting. But the seat, you have a 10 mil bo bolt here, then you have a clip at the back, you have to press down and then it's pretty easy to remove the uh, back seat. Um, here you have your seat belt thing, you can see it's a bit of a mission, I for some reason can't move my plastic very far and I don't want to attempt breaking it because I'm quite OCD. Um, so you've got a uh, 14 mil here and then you've got a 14 mil down there and a 10 mil down there which connects the bracket here, well not the bracket, the mechanism. So there's the 14 mil, there would be the 10 mil, and they literally, as soon as you get it loose, it pops out pretty simply. Um, and then you have a connector here, there, which is exactly the same as your airbag one. You pop it up and you pull it out. So very easy. Cool, I think I'm about an hour and a half in. It's slightly more pain in the ass than I hope. Um, okay, so getting out the seat belt is fine. Getting the brackets in I need to get in is a bit of a pain. So these are the brackets that kind of replace the um, top part of the uh, seat belt that's uh, in the pillar. Um, so it's a bit of a mission to get back in um, and then getting all the trim back. That's pretty straightforward afterwards. Um, but yeah, I don't have all the like power tools to help me out. So it's kind of a mission. Um, so you can probably, yeah, there you see. That's the bracket on the one side. Still need to do the other side, take the seat belt out, and then figure out how to connect the harness. <laughs> That's a bit of a mission. Um, the only thing I don't know yet is how to connect those guys. Um, as far as I understood that it required no drilling or any type of work to be done, which is why I wanted it. So now I need to see what's up. <laughs> but yeah, so far so good. Just taking longer than uh, expected. Holy crap, what a mission. Okay, so I figured out how, how the thing, this stuff gets mounted a long time ago. What I struggled with was actually getting the one bolt of the seat loose. So someone thought it was very funny to like super glue the damn thing. Which I actually ended up screwing up one of my ratchets. Um, I don't know where it is now. Um, so I had to go to the... <laughs> the store to get a new freaking uh, socket so I can get the thing loose. So I finally got it loose now, I'm going to insert the bracket and then the one side's done. L luckily the other side's going to be quite, quite easy and quick. Um, I also had to get a new um, bracket for the one seat belt. So uh, let me just get this thing. So this is the one that comes with the SA belt um, harnesses. So the problem with it was that it didn't go through that, that little hole there. So I got a, a U-bolt so I can get it through and then I'm gonna connect it up there. I'll show what it looks like at, in the end. Um, almost there. Just one more side to go, then I'm done. Okay, so day two. Who ever thought that a harness bar can take this long? Okay, so I ran into a lot of complications yesterday. Um, I don't remember if I made a clip of that, but in any case, so the harness bar itself didn't have a tap on the one side, and I didn't have the tools to create a tap, so what I tried to do was to use a the screw they gave me to create the tap while screwing it in. Goodbye screw. So I struggled about three hours to get the screw out again last night. Um, 
yeah. So finally got it in now. Um, so the harness bar is connected. Uh, well, the start. So you can see the harness bar is there. Brake light. Um, I need to put in the sporting braces and then I'm done. Then I need to, well, of course put on the harnesses. So I couldn't, I'm planning on taking a drive today. So I have to finish this in the next few, like next hour or so. Because I want to go take a drive with uh, uh, Tian and a few of my other friends. So yeah, we're getting there, finally. So I'm going to put in the supporting harness brackets now or bars now, whatever. And then kind of tighten, uh, tighten everything down and then start putting up the harnesses. So getting there, getting there. Okay, cool. First harness is in, finally. Uh, takes a bit of mangling and getting used to. Oh, getting the back of the 86 sucks. Uh, but yeah, so I had to first figure out how to wrap this thing properly. I hope it's properly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got the harnesses for the driver seat adjusted and ready. So you can see the wrap here. So it goes through the top loop um, quite a few times actually. The rest of these, this belt can actually be connected to a bolt like this. So I'm probably going to connect that up now um, just for extra safety, I guess. Um, and then the harnesses at the bottom, you can see there somewhere, already connected up. So everything for the driver's seat is adjusted. Driver seat position is adjusted, so happy days. <laughs> now let's see if we can get the last one up and running and be done with this finally. Cool, as you can see behind me, my car is finally done and you can hear she started. I actually left the doors open so the lights were draining the battery so I had to jump start my car, the, <laughs> the Toyota with the Chevy Spark, it was beautiful. Um, all in all, pretty simple install, it's all an entire bolt-on kit so no drilling or anything required which is quite cool. Uh, there was some complications that so there wasn't thread on the one side that I stripped the bolt and so forth and so forth but it's done now so I don't care. Um, going to take a drive now, so I'll probably make a separate video of that because this video is probably already long enough. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. Check you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry I didn't record it near the end that much anymore because I got I was so frustrated at that point um, trying to get it finished. So it wasn't as informational probably as I hope. But anyways, it's done. So peace out. Check you guys on the next one.